husband calmed down yet. It's soon time to bring in the harvest. your eyes, my friend. Man. Would you live under Edwin's boot? There's okay. You will be if these supplies reach her castle. I'd give them over to any man for enough silver. I have a livelihood to keep. I had silver before I was caged, and I will again. You need only give me time. I must go to my word. It's a crying shame, your story. But a few supplies ain't gonna rewrite the history of the world, woman. Good friend. Your wares will bring death to the farmers and merchants of this land. Could you live with such a burden? None of my concern. Not until there's a sword at your neck. It's for the good of your Shia. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye, stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold, wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake coils. Look, he yowls. Poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach.
What was that? Edwin's men approach. Prepare yourself. The soldiers are close. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation. ...when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe such a thing yourself, do you? Not elusive self-begotten light who reigns over all, but a lesser god. Imperfect and given to temptation. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. Let's see you, old friend.
need your eyes, my friend. Lads, see there's our Fletch and silks and spice on the Eivor, have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Long live Giedrich! None will stop us! Eivor! Giedrich! And victory! I still don't care is why the damn peasants mm. blame their little wood spirits when we got proof elf shot is behind it. not to draw attention here. Cast about this land, my friend. cauldrons. There's more to be done to lead his men.
I say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight. Now! You're a good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. But without Eivor, I make no moves. We wait. <laughs> <laughs> 